Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to automatically test your HTML email exports from Figma in different versions of Microsoft Outlook using the Emailify plugin and the litmus.com platform. So the first thing we have to do is just go to your Figma file and click on the little resources icon at the top. And if you search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, if you click on the Emailify item, you can run the plugin by either clicking on the run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this little more options icon here and clicking save, and that'll save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas, right click anywhere and go down to plugins. And then I'm gonna go down to saved plugins and click on the emailify item. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we just saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically helps you to design HTML emails in Figma that you can customize and then export to production ready HTML directly from the plugin. So I'm just gonna assume you've already got your design set up as you want. I'm not gonna be going through that in this tutorial, but if you're new to the plugin, you might wanna check out some other tutorials on the channel to go through all the design steps and customizations. But I'm just gonna assume you've already got the email ready to go and you just wanna test the HTML in different versions of Microsoft Outlook. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm just gonna click on the export HTML button in the plugin. I'm gonna click on the export to HTML button again, making sure that I've got the upload hosted image URLs selected. That's just gonna allow us to automatically have those images included in the HTML. So I'm gonna click on export to HTML. And then once this finishes exporting, I'm going to save this to my desktop. So I'm gonna click on the download your zip file button, save it to my desktop. And if I now unzip that folder, uh, we can see here that our email is inside this folder here with the same name as our frame. So basically I'm gonna take this HTML file, which is our HTML email, and just drop it into a code editor. So I'm just gonna drop it into here and that's gonna allow us to copy paste the HTML into Litmus. So I'm just gonna copy all of the content from my HTML file and then I'm gonna to go to my browser and I'm already logged into litmus.com and I'm basically gonna click on the create new button up here under the test tab. So under the test tab, I'm gonna click on create new and then I'm just gonna call this uh, Outlook tests and click on the test uh, selection here. So where it says build or test, we wanna click on test. Then I'm gonna click bring in your email. And there's a couple of ways to do this. Today, we're just gonna be pasting in the HTML, uh, but you can also send an email to this special address if you're sending it from an email service provider like MailChimp or something like that. Uh, if you wanna send it from there, you definitely can. But for today, I'm just gonna be doing a raw test just with the HTML that we exported from Figma by pasting it in. So I'm gonna go down here and click on view more ways to create an email. And if you click on that, it's gonna give you this text area here that you can paste your code into. So I'm gonna paste that code that we copied from our clipboard. And here I'm just gonna call this test as the subject line, and then I'm gonna click done. So once you click done, it's gonna upload this HTML into litmus.com and it's gonna run your email through a bunch of different email clients to show you how it's actually gonna render on those email clients once that gets sent out. So these aren't emulated preview, these, these are totally real uh, previews that are being run on the litmus.com servers behind the scenes. And they're gonna give you screenshots of what that actually looks like on all these different operating systems and on all these different versions of Microsoft Outlook. So you can see here, it's basically loading up a bunch of previews for different versions of Microsoft Outlook got really old ones like 2007 and 2010 uh, and also ones like 2016 on Mac and on Windows and we're also getting the dark mode version on 2021 and Outlook 2019 so you can see that we've got a whole bunch of different versions here but we've also got access to view more as well so if you want to test this on more specific Outlook versions you can basically click on this choose email clients button up here and that will bring up a bunch of options that you can choose under the Outlook category. So let's say we only wanna test this on Outlook. We can basically clear uh, all of the desktop uh, clients and just under the Outlook section here, we can either click this select all button and that'll select literally every version of Outlook that's available on Litmus. So we can, we can definitely do that. Or you can also go down here and select some web-based ones. So if you wanna test this on uh, web-based versions of Outlook, you can do that as well. So you can test it on Office 365, you can test it on outlook.com, so we can select those. And then we can also test the mobile versions. So if you wanna do mobile versions of Outlook, you can select those in here. So you can do Outlook on iOS. Uh, we can unselect the Apple Mail ones in this case. And that'll basically give us a full suite of Outlook 
clients on desktop and mobile that we can check. So now we can click on run previews and this is going to take the HTML that we already uploaded a minute ago and it's going to rerun that through the additional Outlook clients that we just selected in Litmus. So uh, this might take a little while just because there's quite a lot of clients and the uh, rendering process can take some time for all of these different clients uh, on Outlook using Litmus, but you're basically going to get a full test suite of how your HTML that was exported from Figma is going to look across every version of Outlook that you can uh, imagine or every version that's supported in the Litmus platform. Uh, so you can see here we've got the Outlook.com and Office 365 uh, web-based previews. So these are the web client ones. Uh, we can see what they look like. So you can see here that the previews loaded up and we've got all of our content uh, in here. We've got rounded corners, which are going to be a bit different to the older versions of Outlook, as we'll see up here. Uh, you can see that these ones uh, basically just have square corners because the border radius property isn't supported in older versions of Outlook. Uh, so if we load up this uh, preview here, you can see that the corner radiuses are just square because that's what it falls back to. Uh, but the rest of the content is looking nice. So uh, you're going to get that a few times if you're wondering why the border radius isn't supported in Outlook uh, and maybe a few other small things, that's going to be why. So we can also see dark mode previews. Uh, we've got a bunch of different clients that do support dark mode on Outlook. So you can preview those as well. Um, but yeah, this is basically the fundamental idea. You just take your HTML uh, that was exported from Figma. You just open that up in either a code editor or you can open it in the browser and just view source and copy that into the Litmus platform directly. And then it's basically up to you to pick which email clients uh, for Microsoft Outlook you're supporting or you're interested in seeing how they render. And Litmus will take care of all of the heavy lifting and let you preview that HTML uh, in Outlook, any, any version that you want. So um, yeah, I'll leave it there for today. I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to test your HTML emails in different versions of Microsoft Outlook, uh, Litmus is a really, really robust way of doing that. So I hope it helps with your testing workflow and QA workflow uh, for your HTML emails. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.